he had some success in the first round getting in there and clearly when Concepcion, he, yeah. Yeah, Concepcion, when he, when he landed, it looked like he obviously had the power to hurt him and the reluctance, I don't know if there was a punch that I didn't see that landed. I know he's had a couple sneaky right hooks, Loevano has on Concepcion, but he might not have a choice but to be a lot more aggressive as these rounds go on. A minute, just under a minute left to go here in round number five as we're getting close to the uh, middle of this fight. And I think you can tell by the the hushed crowd <laughs> that there might be a little concern on their end. We're not, we're not throwing anything in the last 30 seconds. You're right, Brian. He's not gonna, he's not gonna win the fight for him. He needs to go out there and put a lot of combinations together. Yeah. Put the press, this, keep putting especially when you're the challenger. Exactly. This is like uh, the old North Carolina basketball teams who ran the four-corner offense facing some uh, fast break team. In this case, Concepcion's the fast break right. team, and they haven't gotten the ball down the court at all. Now, was that off balance? Was he hurt by a punch? I don't think so. Body shot. It was a great body shot. He actually did land a big body shot. Could have been a combination of him being hurt and off balance. We've got our main event still to come. Rafael Concepcion, who thought he was going to be fighting for the WBA interim super flyweight title. Instead, he is fighting to see if he can get a win and stamp his name as a victor over Donaire because he came in four and a half pounds over the weight limit, will not be allowed to keep the title if he beats Nonito Donaire, but he is fighting at a higher weight. Does that 119 indicate he wasn't in shape, or did he just come in wrong? I think he just it was he was ill prepared. I mean, you got two and a half months, let's say two two to two and a half months to prepare for a fight. It's your job to make your weight. I mean, have you know preparing yourself for a fight is one thing, but the nutrition and 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 going down to your respective weight division is also a part of your job. All right, he's a 27-year-old former WBA interim super flyweight champion. Had that title before, and he's hoping that he can perform well tonight, even if the title doesn't come along with a win. Meanwhile, as we head into the sixth round of this WBO featherweight championship match, Stephen Luavano in the white trunks continues to control things against Burnaby Concepcion, though we, he suffered a little hiccup at the end of round five when he got hit with a couple of big body shots. You know, I give it to Luevano for being <laughs> tough and, and savvy enough to kind of weather that early onslaught and sticking to his game plan. Although there's a little blood trickle coming down from his nose where I don't know where that came from. I don't remember seeing a solid punch. Now Concepcion on the inside there, and Luevano was able to hold him, and Concepcion not really working very effectively when he got in there. This is the fight, this is the type of fight Steve wants, fighting him from the outside, frustrating him with that jab, keeping the jab out there and keeping uh, Bernabe at, at bay. Bernabe being a little bit more aggressive in this round, and at some point he hurt him, I couldn't see, or at least was an effective punch to cause the nose to bleed. And there has been no temptation. There's a le left hand that kind of knocks Concepcion off balance. Luevano and, Con and uh, Robert Garcia talked about the temptation of Luevano to kind of get in a firefight with an opponent, but hasn't been much temptation tonight because Concepcion hasn't turned it into that kind of a fight. Right, and I think he respected his powers from the start of the belt. And uh, again, I'd like to point out we haven't seen too many clinches, which bodes well for Luevano. And some of the crowd here are a little bit unsettled by the lack of action. And, you know, that, of course, we addressed with Robert Garcia and uh, Lou Evano, as He said, we've got to make our fight the right way. Yeah, he doesn't care about, about entertaining the crowd. He just, he just wants to have a W. Uh, I, I talked to uh, Roberto back in the gym, and he says, I don't care if this fight is going to be ugly. We're going to fight our fight. I don't care if the... If the crowd is going to boo us or, or talk badly about us, it's just as long as we have the W, I'll be fine with it. Well, and you know, he has gotten his share of wins, but, you know, at age 28, making his fifth title defense, it's 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 unmistakable that Stephen Luevano has not gotten universal uh, uh, confirmation of himself as a champion. And at some point, Marketing yourself as a fighter may be important enough for him to have to throw caution to the wind. And Garcia suggested to us that if, if there was a monstrous name fight in front of him, he might be forced to do that. 
He hasn't, unfortunately, had too many television appearances for all the fights that he's that he's had. That's part of it as well. You're right. But he, I mean, he's truly a, a, a craftsman in there. Very good technician, and he showed right there his combination punching against Concepcion. Seemed a little low there. So yeah. another round in which uh, Stephen Luevano controlled the action completely. Don't get him back. You know, I, don't want, I want the ref to see if he takes points out. Him, not you, all right? Breathe. Here's a jab, right straight to the body, or right hook rather, to Steven Lomovano. Concepcion doubling up on his jab and delivering a hard body blow, which caught the attention of Lomovano, causing him to hold one of the few clinches of the fight. The right hand to the body looked like it, it hurt Steven for a little bit. Hold on. So we okay. head into round number seven, and Burnaby Concepcion starting to make a little bit happen on the inside, but not too much. Concepcion, the 21-year-old from the Philippines in the multicolored trunks, who has a record of 29-1 and 1 with 17 KOs. Steven Luevano from La Puente, California with 15 KOs, 36 wins, one loss, and one draw. There's the right hand from Concepcion. We've seen a slightly, a subtle change in the last three or four minutes of this fight in which Concepcion has started to do a little better work. Yeah, it, it has been subtle, and I think he needs to pick it up even more to, to take the championship away. Loy, it'd be interesting to see if that intensity does rise if Loeveno's activity rises as well. Yeah, subtlety works in a null coward play, but in boxing, you've got to raise it above that level yes. a little bit. Subtlety should lead you to something dramatic, and we'll see if it does. We're almost halfway through round seven of this scheduled 12 rounder. And Burnaby Concepcion continues to look for the key that will unlock his passageway to the inside against Luevano. Seems like he virtually abandoned his jab. Yeah, you mentioned that. And when he does jab his way in, Concepcion, much more effective. He was. That's how he had that big. That's how he body sets shot. up his right hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, a double jab going into the, uh, you know, putting your feet outside his, his lead right foot. Coming in with a right straight to the body or to the head. I mean, he's not been doing that. Only periodically in, in spurts in, 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 the, in through the rounds. A minute left to go here in round number seven, and it has followed a script very reminiscent of the previous six rounds for the most part. The first couple of rounds, Concepcion had a little better success. But since that second round, Luevano has really found his footing. And there's a nice body shot by Luevano. One of the few Luevano has thrown. Yeah, very few. Robert Garcia, the trainer of Luevano, as we mentioned.